people welcome to yet another interesting video in the crash course series of unit 6 English in India history evolution and future so in this particular video I'm going to talk about two great British leaders and their contribution in spreading English across India and these two leaders are William Bentick and Thomas Bebbington Macaulay or who is famously known as Lord Macaulay but before we talk about this I would like you to note that I have already uploaded two video lectures in the same crash course series wherein I've discussed in detail Charter Act of 1813 role of missionaries and how all these things helped in spreading English as a language across the Indian subcontinent so if you have not yet watched the video then it's time to do it right now the links are there in the i button given above apart from that if you've not yet subscribed to the channel I think you should do it because we are going to upload some really really amazing lectures on other important units of new syllabus of UGC net English very soon on our channel apart from that if you have not visited our website arpitakarva.com it's time to do that because we have uploaded a detailed syllabus of UGC net English listing all the important topics in each of these units and the syllabus is updated as per the new syllabus which came a few months back so if you are willing to give and prepare for UGC net exam in a very very revolutionary manner then it's time to go to the website and have a look at the new updated detailed syllabus of UGC net English so without any further delay let's write uh, jump right into the topic and let's see the role of William Bentick and Lord Macaulay in spreading English across India I am sure that you must be wondering that who is this guy William Bentick you've never heard of him uh, I would like to tell you that William Bentick was a friend of Charles Grant Charles Grant if you remember from the first lecture of this crash course series I told you that Charles Grant was the director of the East India Company and he favored English uh, language to become the medium of instruction in India now if you look at William Bentick this man also followed the ideas of his friend and he wrote a letter to the Commission of Public Instruction saying that English language should become the language of all government work and also it should become the language of education. Now what happened was because of this letter in September 1830 the court of UK said that English is going to become the language of all public offices work uh, in all the departments and that is how because of a letter by William Bentick English language status was raised from being a language in school to being a language uh, of all government work. The role of Lord Macaulay is really, really important when it comes to uh, English language in India. And if you remember from my previous video, I mentioned that there was a huge debate going between the Anglicist and the Orientalist. Anglicist believed that English language should become the medium of instruction, whereas uh, Orientalist believed that any Indian vernacular language like Hindi should become the medium of instruction. And both these groups were debating constantly. So finally, to end this debate, Mr. William Bendick asked Lord Macaulay to write minutes okay in which he is going to state some facts on why English should become the medium of instruction and this minutes was popularly known as manifesto on English education in India. Now in this minutes he stated a very very important line where he says that I want to form a class of people who are Indian in blood and color but English in taste and opinion and this is only possible by introducing English as the medium of instruction and this uh, minutes by Macaulay became so popular that finally a bill was passed in which it was mentioned that English is going to become the language of instruction so it was because of Macaulay's minute that English became the language of instruction in most of the schools and colleges of India another important achievement of Macaulay's minute was that William Bentick who was the governor at that time stated in a bill after reading Macaulay's minute that all funds would be utilized only 
on English education. So all the funds that is coming from the government of uh, Britain, they are going to get utilized only in spreading English education. So we are not going to fund uh, Indian schools anymore. We are only going to fund schools which are teaching in English medium. So that was another important highlight. There are a lot of other things which needs to be uh, taken care of when preparing for English in India. We deal with all these things in detail in our online course. So you can go to our website arpitakarva.com to get details about our online course. Apart from that, you can also follow on the social media platforms so that you are updated about the new audio lectures and PDFs that we are uploading for our students. Uh, we would also like you to note that the next lecture uh, in this series of Crash Course is very important because I'm going to talk about two really, really amazing acts and commission that helped English as a language to develop in India. So that's a surprise for you. So stay tuned to this channel. Subscribe, like and share if you have not done it right now. We'll meet soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.